Orlando Pirates head coach, Coach Vini. Uh, welcome, Coach. Thank you. Uh, congratulations on your first win. Uh, what's the feeling about this game? Uh, it's a big win for me. Uh, it's one of the best wins I've ever had in my career. Uh, it's a big win for me. Uh, it's one of the best wins I've ever had in my career. It's a big win for me. Uh, it's one of the best wins I've ever had in my career. It's a big win for me. Uh, it's one of the best wins I've ever had in my career. Maybe can the coach maybe just come forward to the mic, please, please, Mr. Right forward, yeah, coach, can you please come forward, please? Bring the mountain to Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I miss? You should fight it. All right, good afternoon. How was the We know how the first game every competition is uh, usually tough, difficult, a uh, lot of uh, emotions uh, playing the game. Uh, I'm so happy the way we, uh, the game, the game begins. Uh, we have uh, 25, almost 30 minutes where we, we control the game very well. Uh, we create uh, enough chances and also the feeling uh, was super good uh, in terms of uh, yeah, controlling the game basically in every phase. We didn't have any problem to control the, uh, the transitions and the, the, the long balls of uh, swallows. After uh, 30 minutes probably we accused a bit the fatigue, uh, the rhythm of the game. So we didn't control that much the game in, in day half uh, anymore in the last 10 minutes. Uh, and we couldn't change that in the second half. Uh, they changed the setup in the second half. It took uh, too much time for us to, to fix uh, the problems that they create to us. Uh, so we have a period in the second half where uh, Swallows was better. They have uh, one, one chance clear that Richard was uh, really good. And then one action where, uh, where uh, Tapelo uh, tackled the ball close, to the, close to, the, to the five meter box, if I remember right. Uh, so we have a lot of problems in the second half, like I said, to find Lord and, and, and Lamini, like we did in the first half. I think they have a lot of problems to defend that position in the first period. That was the, one of the keys why we have more control. And in the second half, it was different. I think we were a bit uh, conservative sometimes also, but like I said, it, this is a things that we, we knew or we preventing advance that can happen in a in a type of game like this. Like I said, it's the first game of the season, expectations, you play home, you wanna do it well, you are leaving, and uh, sometimes the game can be can be too long. Uh, anyway, even in the tough periods of the second half, the team showed that uh, they know what they are doing and they are competitive and they are not not uh, not making jokes even in, in, the, in the difficult moments, so I think Credit for them, clean sheet, three points, uh, so we couldn't start better. We're now open for questions from the floor. Show of hands, start with Mr. Cleason. And if you haven't raised your hand, you still get the first one, Mr. Cleason. Thank you, man. <laughs> so can I ask you, uh, uh, I was interested in your choice of Monyane on the right-hand side. Obviously, the last two years, he's hardly featured at all. What did he do to impress you in the pre-seasons, et cetera, and get the, and get the start in above? the Shandus of this world, etc. I'm not gonna, uh, for the rest of the season, not only today, I'm not gonna individualize when I speak about my players. I have a fantastic squad with uh, plenty of options in every position. Uh, so you can imagine how good they are performing that I choose them, you know, to be in the start 11 with the amount of options that I have. If you think about the name of the players who were not today in the list, you can get an idea about the competition that we have in the training. So we will select always the players that we think are better for the game and the players that are gonna help us to be close to win, like we did today. So if Tabiso is in the start 11 in, in Orlando Pirates, you, you can have your own idea about the level that the guy has. So, I think his performance is, is 
talking for him. Uh, good evening, Coach. Uh, good evening. Congratulations on the victory. I think uh, well, well deserved. Uh, Coach, I was looking at you, uh, your demeanor on the touchline uh, almost for the whole 90 minutes. You're very calm, very, very calm. And I think that also translates to the players because you know they were relaxed as well. They were passing the ball in around themselves. Is that how we should expect you to be this season, even though maybe you are uh, being late? Is that how, does it also help the place for you that you're one of the calmest coaches that possibly Paris has ever had in a long time? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's how I am as a person. I'm not a different person when I'm coaching or in, in my, in my uh, ordinary life. Uh, so I think, it's, first of all, it's very difficult to uh, communicate with the players in this, it's such a, know atmosphere like here uh, we can you know make movements sometimes and try to call their attention but it's difficult and I don't think that for the player when they are take, having a look of uh, the bench and the technical area when they see that the coach is getting nervous or getting mad is gonna help them uh, they know what they have to do because we we go through during the weeks uh, about the things that we want to see in the games we are not doing different things during the week that then we try to do during the competition so uh, the communication is still fluid we try to uh, support them and try to give them solutions not uh, there's no point to you know shout or make you know some nice performances sometimes at the bench anyway I, I have my my emotions as well and <laughs> Sometimes I'm, I'm also quite expressive there on the bench, but I try to control myself as much as possible because I think it's the way that I'm going to help my team. If I can be concentrated and analyzing what's happening there, I'm going to be much more useful for my players than if I, I'm just nervous and shouting and losing, losing the control. Okay. Nice, nice. <coughs> um, coach? Before I arrived here, I watched a YouTube video of Pirates, an interview that you had, and you got really emotional when you spoke about the inequalities of, of South Africa. Um, my question to you is, obviously, it's a perfect start today. Uh, happy people, good crowd. Are you aware of the social impact that you can have as an Orlando Pirates coach, that you have the ability to make millions of South Africans happy? And does that put pressure on you coming into this job? Uh, two things here. Uh, I'm repeating myself, but it, it's the truth. It's, it's not an empty talk. I have very, very clear uh, the, the aim of my role, uh, my profession, what I do. We are part of one show. Uh, we try to entertain people. Uh, football is something that makes me feel very happy when I when I, I have the chance to watch my team playing. So I want the same for the people who is coming to watch the game. Sometimes it's possible. And, uh, and sometimes, sometimes it's not. Uh, but the intention, it's always there. So I try to, uh, yeah, do my best uh, in order to make it to make it happen. And the consequences, like today, that we have, uh, I don't know how many fans, you know, in this moment very happy at home and, and probably having a good night because of the the performance of of the guys. Uh, so yeah, that's that's how I feel. Thank you. Um, and Bashar, I'm going to you from sports. Coach, I just need to find out something. After all the talks that happened before you came into uh, South Africa, you were sitting on the bench for the first time today. Um, you saw the hype, the vibe at the, st at the, st in the stadium, brother, from the fans. What did it say to you, seeing everything that you experienced for the first time uh, today in South African football? Well, it's... Uh it's a nice atmosphere. It's amazing to to be part of, of this show. The people was uh, singing singing from the first minute and cheering and supporting. It's uh, maybe it's a different way to live the games. Uh, if I compare with Europe, uh, this, this looks more like a party. So, but it's good. You know, the people is having fun. They are, you know, uh, pushing at some in some moments and making noise and. And the way we want to play football, it's going to be relevant for us. We, we have to still pushing and force, in a way, forcing, you know, the people to play the games with us. You know, they need to be part of our performance too. If we manage to do that, 
we're gonna be super strong here at home and that means a lot of points in the end of the season so like today we have a difficult time in the second half 10 15 minutes where we have some doubts but i don't know what it means for the players you know each of them as an individual but for me have the people behind cheering and pushing it's it's something you know that it makes sense uh it makes uh, logic all the time that we spend you know uh, trying to do the things well so we pray for them we'll take the final three questions starting with the gentleman over there um, coach um Pedro's story of the day so um in that one you said um the victory was more important and congratulations on that um um as a person who was on, on, on the dog on the touch line and he did all in the penalty to, to beat the uh, best game in South Africa. If you, you would, uh, wouldn't mind to tell us what was like your the best highlight of the game? What, what, what impressed you the most about South African football today? Thank you. No, nothing different than in the, in the games we already played during the pre-season. Uh, the, the, I'm still impressed with the, the technical level of the South African players. Uh, this league is, uh, it's, the, the difficulties are high because of the technical level of the players. I didn't see a single player without skill so far, or maybe I'm wrong, but that's what I, what I perceive. Uh, so that makes the, the games very entertaining from my point of view. I was yesterday watching uh, the first game of the season, 20, 30 minutes, and it's nice to see the football here because you can see chances, you can see good actions coming from the quality of the players. So I, I don't see anything to highlight really, but the general, you know, the package is it's beautiful. So yeah. Uh, coach uh, Sinten Biso from Times Live. Um, coach, you could have scored uh, more than one goal today. Um, would you say uh, your uh, upfront is where? Uh, is the place that going to need uh, some of your attention and how do you address it going forward? Uh, we put attention in every department. Uh, the, the thing is that I would like to always finish the games and be seated here and talking about the chances that we miss. That means that the plan was good and we played the game that we wanted to play. So today was the first time and, and, and it works like this, especially in the, in the first half. The second half, the, the the chances uh, had a different nature, coming more from transitions and uh, quick attacks. Uh, but in the first half, I think that you you could see a close version of the team that we want to see during the season. Uh, of course, I would like to score more goals and you know be seated there in the last ten minutes of the game, more relaxed. And, and we knew that this game could happen today. We spoke about actually during the during the during the week that maybe we will be we will find ourselves in the end of the game with a short advantage like it happened. So we were prepared also for that scenario. But you can be sure that if uh, we continue creating this amount of chances and it's going to happen, you can be sure uh, we will score more than one goal. Another question? Yes, Coach uh, Vedula from the CBC. Uh, congratulations on, on the post start. Thank the you. Win. Uh, your next game is a game um, against Stellenbosch mm -hmm. um, in, in, in Cape Town. Um, Stellenbosch, yeah, in Western, in Western Cape. Um, obviously, different kind of game that you expect uh, from the Swallows. Um, what is your expectation in, in, in this um, first few matches of the season? And, and, and in terms of your projections, are you are you building in, in phases of maybe five games? Or what, what what kind of expectations and, um, and, and and just how you want to go about um, collecting points um, in this first phase of the season? Um, well, you have you have to think that I'm I'm new here but uh, I have people behind me, which is not. Uh, we are going out to Stellenbosch. It's gonna be the first time for me, new environment, new team. I know things about them, of course. I'm doing my job, but then I have a good, good
good staff behind me with a lot of experience in the league, which is uh, helping me a lot. Coach Mandla, Dairo, uh, Rayan, uh, they are helping us to the new ones, you know, the, to, to be on the map every day in terms of uh, culture, in terms of uh, opponents, in terms of uh, atmospheres that we are going to find, for example, now in Cape Town in a few days. So you can be sure we are, we are prepared anyway for those type of games. Uh, expectations, uh, I think that I said already in some other occasions, I and mean, it's not an empty talk. We are playing for Pirates, so we are not going to face any game uh, different than today. We're going to try to be always a proactive team, looking for a good result, three points, we are ambitious, and we know we know what we need to do. We are not going to do it in every single occasion, hopefully, but it's it's difficult, as you for sure understand. But the inten intention is going to be always there. But we have opponents in front who are doing also their jobs, and you know this is a this is a tough competition. Uh, but the, the identity of the team is not going to change. You know, never. It's not going to change for one result or for one performance. We we are quite sure about what we are doing. Now, now we've reached the conclusion of our press conference. Uh, thank you, coach. Uh, and uh, <laughs> thank you, gentlemen of the media. Gracias. 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 Gracias.